having drawn the first two activities now let us go into the next activity now in this activity they say that you have to draw it in a3 paper isn't it so you have to draw it in a3 right so as i told you before prepare the a3 size paper and then you will have to draw the layout also now let us draw this one so this is how they want it you should have one a3 paper divide the a3 paper into two you will have first drawing here and the second drawing here right so let's do it let us read the drawing first let's go one by one now in this drawing you can see that some measurements are given in radius some are given as a diameter and here again this is a diameter and this is a radius so let us convert everything into radius so that will be easy for us so the innermost circle here is 20 diameter which is nothing but radius is 10 and this is radius 20 so we will keep it like this this circle here has a diameter of 40 which means the radius is 20 and again this is already in radius so let's have it again observe the distance between this center and this center is 80 millimeters so my plan is to draw a straight line of 80 millimeters with this as center I will first draw a circle of radius 10 then I will draw a next circle of radius 20 with the same radius I will draw this circle and then I will make a circle of radius 35 and then let's join these two lines now this is going to be the overall plan let's start start drawing it now I'll keep the iPad in the side as usual okay I hope you can see now okay focus okay right so you can see the a3 size paper the layouts are ready and now I am ready to draw now first and foremost let me split this line uh, to be very clean I can say that the center of this particular line is from this line which you have drawn for section so hold your ruler straight or if you want you can make a mark here you can just make a mark of 21 centimeters and then you can join this dot with here right so I have split the a3 size paper into two now you have two portions to draw let's draw it here the first drawing will draw here the second drawing let's draw here so I want to go nice and easy as always draw a horizontal line this is just a construction line so it has to be as light as possible like this then and I told you that the distance between the two circles from its radius from its center is 80 millim 80 centimeters oh, sorry 80 millimeters so I'll have a dot in 0 and then I'll have a dot in 8 or 80 millimeters now I hope you can see the dots one dot is here and one dot is here very small dots next is I'll take a circle the first circle should be of radius 10 so radius 10 means it is a small circle like this you can see that right 10 keep the center firm and just make a circle one stroke only don't lift the circle in case if you have lifted it's okay I did the mistake I lifted it here so I'll just erase it a little bit again keep it in the center so that it doesn't move and then you can finish the circle like this it's a little bit tricky when the circles become smaller but for bigger circles that is easy okay my next circle is going to be of Two centimeters or 20 millimeters radius I have measured at 20 from the center hold the tip of the compass and
and then draw a circle likewise right with the same radius I'm drawing another circle here done now the last circle is going to have a radius of 35 millimeters so make it bigger it's too big now I will come closer you can see yeah this is 30 okay this is 35 okay with this as center draw a circle and done hold it here in the tip and then just twist it so it's easy now take a scale and then join these circumferences hold it in proper position first once you are sure that the position is correct then draw the circle line that's it